Today's research update will come from the National American Dairy Science meetings held uh, just this recently in Florida. And the theme that the abstract I'm going to look at is increasing nitrogen efficiency in dairy cattle. And a series of different studies were reported, which really tie together very nicely. First, some early work from the University of Wisconsin looked at four different rations, 13 and a half, 15, 16 and a half, and 18 percent protein. And they saw a, a linear response in terms of feed uh, nitrogen efficiency as you went from the high to the low level. And there was no improvement in performance once you got above the 16 uh, percent protein diet. A Belgium study then compared 15% versus 17% crude protein and discovered that the lower protein produced less milk, but it also increased nitrogen efficiency, a real dilemma for dairy producers and consultants. More recently, the New Hampshire group has looked at different ways to evaluate uh, different procedurals on the bioavailability of different uh, rumen-produced protected amino acids. And they found that using a plasma-free amino acid analysis along with a dose responsing, they could predict which of these additives or which of these products are going to be most effective. And then finally, Virginia Tech stopped, started to use an isotope-based approach. And this is kind of the new approach to determine and separate the sources of essential amino acids, those that came from rumen microbes and those that came from a rumen undegraded protein as a source of amino acids. So certainly these four different studies reported at the National Dairy Science meetings held in Florida in 2020 uh, certainly has a take-home message, and that is there's a lot of interest in nitrogen efficiency and improvement as far as that goes. Uh, And that's kind of a win-win. It's a win for dairy producers because it means we will have less protein being fed to dairy cattle, which typically are more expensive parts of the feeding program. And we also have an improvement in environmental concerns about nitrogen losses through feces and urine. Well, that's completes our program for today. Thanks. Have a great day.